The latest Place 400 exam questions are newly updated by Pass Question to ensure your success in Microsoft Power Platform Developer Exam. 1. You create a Power Virtual Agents chatbot in an environment named Environment 1. A colleague creates a Power Automate flow in the default solution in the default environment. The chatbot in Environment 1 does not recognize the flow in the default environment. You need to ensure the chatbot can access the flow. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Add the Power Automate flow to a solution in Environment 1. B. Send a copy of the Power Automate flow from the default environment. C. Add the Power Automate flow to a solution in the default environment. D. Export the solution from the default environment and import the solution into Environment 1. E. Share the Power Automate flow from the default environment. 2. You are developing a Power Platform solution for a medical practice. You create a custom table named Doctors to record details about the doctors who work at the medical practice. You must be able to attach a PDF copy of a doctor's medical license to the row for each doctor. You need to configure the table. What should you do? A. Create a Power Automate flow to add attachments. B. Navigate to Table Options and enable attachments. C. Navigate to Column Options and enable attachments. D. Create relationships between the Doctor table and the Notes table. 3. You are creating a model-driven app. A JavaScript function must be manually initiated by the user from within an entity form. You need to add a button to the form to run the JavaScript. What should you do? A. Use the ribbon workbench. B. Edit the sitemap. C. Edit the XML for the form. D. Edit ISV. Config. E. Export the ribbon definitions. 4. You need to connect to the background check API. Which mechanism should you use? A. JavaScript B. Flow with a custom connector C. Azure function D. Plugin 5. A company has an application that provides API access. You plan to connect to the API from a Canvas app by using a custom connector. You need to request information from the API developers so that you can create the custom connector. Which two types of files can you use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. YAML B. WSDL C. OpenAPI Definition D. Postman Collection 6. You need to improve the efficiency of counting warehouse inventory. What should you create? A. A model-driven app that allows the user to key in inventory counts. B. A Power by dashboard that shows the inventory counting variances. C. A flow that updates the warehouse counts as the worker performs the count. D. A Canvas app that scans barcodes to allow a warehouse worker to select inventory counts. 
7. You are developing an app that uses Common Data Service. You must integrate Common Data Service with a new web application. You must allow the new web application to display data from Common Data Service. You build a single page web application using the Web API. You need to authenticate your app using OAuth. What should you use? A. Windows Communication Foundation, WCF. B. Cross Origin Resource Sharing, CORS. C. Microsoft Authentication Library, MSAL. D. Kerberos Authentication. E. Active Directory Authentication Library, ADAL. 8. You are developing a power platform solution for a medical practice. You create a custom table named Doctors to record details about the doctors who work at the medical practice. You must be able to attach a PDF copy of a doctor's medical license to the row for each doctor. You need to configure the table. What should you do? A. Create a Power Automate flow to add attachments. B. Navigate to Table Options and enable attachments. C. Navigate to Column Options and enable attachments. D. Create relationships between the Doctor table and the Notes table. 9. You are troubleshooting a new Canvas app. Users report the app loads slowly. You use the monitor tool to view various events being performed in the app. Events performed in the app do not have formula details. You need to enable formulas to be included with the monitor tool events. What should you do? A. Turn on the debug published app setting in the Canvas app. B. After each event, implement the trace function within the Canvas app. C. Add the Microsoft Azure Application Insights data source to the Canvas app. D. Validate the Application Insights instrumentation key has been populated in the app object's properties within the Canvas app. 10. You plan to create a Canvas app to manage large sets of records. Users will filter and sort the data. You must implement delegation in the Canvas app to mitigate potential performance issues. You need to recommend data sources for the app. Which two data sources should you recommend? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. SQL Server B. Common Data Service C. Azure Data Factory D. Azure Table Storage